Hi, this is Eric Yates, and I'd like to show you how to create a survey in a very short amount of time on school wires. So here I am logged into my section workspace where I'm going to edit my teacher pages. I need to create a new page on which to place my survey. A flex page is what I use most of the time because it's a nice blank page for me to add whatever I want. And I'm going to use a blank layout and I'm just going to call this the survey page and save that new page. And you'll see that I have a survey page right here in my list, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that so I can add some information to it. Well, I'm just going to paste this in here, and I have my little text message about what's going on with the survey. And I want to very quickly insert an image here, and I'm going to select the Schoolwires Clipart Library, and I'm going to pick the famous apple right here for simplicity's sake. I'm going to name it apple. And I want to change the size here. I don't need such a big apple. How about 120 across? Let's say, how's that look? That should be fine. All right. And I'm just going to select all here and center it. Let's add a little, have a little fun here with the, with the size. Okay. So now that I've got some content on my survey page. I'm saving it. I need to create a survey. Well, what am I going to use a survey for? All kinds of things, but I want to go up to the tools section first and select forms and surveys. It's okay for me to get away from that page. I have no surveys right now. Well, I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call this my sample survey and it's going to be entirely new, so I'll leave that there and click Save. I have no questions, but I can use this Insert button to add my first question. Now, what kind of a question do I want? Well, there are many kinds. If I select this drop-down menu here, look at all the possibilities. Let's try an easy one first. Choice, true, false. I will enter the question in this first box. Today is Friday. And I'm going to go down here and select my uh, default value. Do I want it to be true all the time automatically, false all the time automatically? No, I want it to be none, just so that um, there's no hint of what the answer could possibly be. And drop down or radio buttons? Well, let's try horizontal radio buttons. Click Save, and let's see what I get. There's a, what the question's going to look like. Today's Friday, true or false? I'm going to insert a, another question here, and this time I'm going to select a multiple answer checkboxes type question, and I'm going to enter my question. Is it which part of the field trip did you like best? And I'm going to head on down here to uh, these options. And I, this is a required question. I want people visiting here to answer that. Now, for my answers, I can select some of these standard things depending on the question. For example, easy to difficult, right? Un important to unimportant, all right? satisfied to dissatisfied. But I have some specific thoughts in mind for, because it's a field trip. So I'm going to say uh, the planetarium. And maybe I'm going to select also, uh, let's see, the Meteor display. How about this one? Um, uh, let's say space program. And we'll leave it at that. Now I'm going to scroll down. And I can also allow an additional answer. What if there's something else that a person wants to add? that uh, he or she was interested in on the field trip. The bus ride. Well, we'll give them a text box to do that. I'll click Save, and there are the choices. Now, I'm only going to do two questions here for our sample. I'm going to click Done, and here I am. I'm at the survey control area. I'm going to click the checkbox to make the survey active. I can't use it unless it's active. I'm going to go back to my home section. Here I am, I'm on the survey page. Right. I'm going to click that. I want people to click the apple to take the survey. I could also highlight some text and have people click text 
in order to start the survey. But I'm going to click one time on the apple. That's effectively highlighting it. I need this button here, the checkbox with the chain. I click that. I get this window, which allows me to select a, a survey. My sample survey is fine. I click Next. I, yes, I want it to open in a new window. I'm going to insert the link finally. I don't see much happening, but don't worry. Everything's good. I click Save. My save was successful. Now let's view the website. And navigate away from there is fine. And I have to get to that section here. Let's go to Romeo Special, a fake page I've created. There's the survey page and the contents list. Here I am. And look at that. When I hover over the apple, it becomes the pointer icon with the finger. I click it. And ta-da, here's my survey. Today is Friday, true or false? It's false. I like the planetarium and the space program. I'm done. Look at that. I close. Yes, I want to close that window. Okay. Now, when some people have taken your survey in Site Manager, what you can do is you can go to the Tools section to see forms and surveys. And you can analyze the sample survey and take a look at this. You can get some neat little bar graphs showing how people responded and you can even print the results if you like. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Go out and create some excellent surveys.